Even though The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's E3 demo only showed off roughly 1% of the world, Nintendo managed to tuck away lots of little bonuses into the far corners of Hyrule. This game seems jam-packed with even more secrets and character than ever before. Let's take a look at 77 little mind-blowing things that we found in our short time with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If a shield is equipped, Link can shield surf down hills. Awesome. Once you're on a shield, if you continually tap jump, Link will do tricks. Shield surfing will steadily damage your shield's durability. A bow can be used when Link is shield surfing. Link can only replenish hearts by eating or cooking food. No more smashing pots or mowing lawns to regain health. Rupees are a rarity in the wild and can only be bartered for in towns. Link can find insects hiding in the tall grass to use for elixirs. Not all chests need to be opened. Weaker ones can be smashed or lit on fire to spill their contents. If Link opens a chest from the side, he'll kick it. If he's barefoot, he'll stub his toes. The old man will comment on Link's lack of clothing by asking if he's chilly. Certain clothing has special properties, like cold resistance to freezing weather. If Link enters an area too hot or too cold on the temperature gauge, he'll start taking damage. Diving into freezing water will kill Link extremely quickly, even with a warm tunic. Link can use axes, swords, and bombs to bring down trees. Fallen trees can be used to create bridges over chasms, float over treacherous waters, or cut into firewood. Certain items like the Korok leaf can be found by chopping down trees. The Korok leaf can generate a gust of wind, which can be used to sail rafts. Also, Koroks are hiding in special places around Hyrule, and will give you a special seed if found. Cute! Link can climb almost any surface, but if his stamina runs out, he'll fall. When falling, Link can reach out for surfaces to catch and stop his fall. Link can create a campfire on his own by placing firewood next to a piece of flint and striking it. Interacting with campfires allows you to change the time of day. You can also sleep in beds to pass the time of day. Time passes in a 24-hour cycle, with each minute played equivalent to one hour in game time. Link can cook food by simply dropping an item near an open flame or putting a torch to the food. Cooking food on an open flame or cooking in a pot can produce different types of food. Link can carry up to five ingredients in his arms to drop into a cooking pot at once. Certain plants can season food for additional effects. Insects can be combined with monster parts to make elixirs. Some food will grant Link additional yellow hearts that serve as bonus health. Other food can give Link an additional yellow stamina circle. Not all recipes turn out great. Failures result in dubious food that's too disgusting to look at. This is the icon for dubious food. Gross! Bokoblins in camp can become distracted if a wild boar runs by and will give chase. At nighttime, certain enemies will go to sleep, but scouts will still guard camps. Bokoblins in camps often leave their weapons close by and will run to grab them if threatened. If a Bokoblin's friend is killed and drops a better weapon, they'll rush to grab it. Link can use a stall Bokoblin's arm as a weapon. A stall Bokoblin's arm will writhe on the ground and when you're carrying it on your back. Enemies will pick up the skeletal arms of their friends and use them as weapons. If you knock off a stall Bokoblin's skull, the headless body can run and grab it and put it back onto place. If Link is fighting multiple stall Bokoblins, one might replace his skull with his friends. Sorry, bro. When a stall Bokoblin's body is dismantled, arms can be seen crawling along the ground to reach the other parts. Any weapon that an enemy carries can be looted. If a Bokoblin is disarmed, they'll pick up rocks that are lying nearby and throw them at you. Bokoblins will sometimes light their own weapons on fire using a campfire. Link can disarm enemies or reflect projectiles with a perfectly timed shield parry. If Link dodges just before an attack, time will slow allowing him to perform a series of flurry attacks. Time also slows if Link draws his bow and arrow when falling through the air, allowing for some incredible headshots. All weapons have durability and will eventually break. A weapon that breaks upon striking will deal critical hit. Every weapon can be thrown to deal damage. All weapon types have their own charged up attacks. Each charged attack can be charged for up to three tiers, dealing more damage and hitting a wider arc, but watch your stamina. Certain weapons found may have bonus effects, like increased power or critical rates. Wooden weapons can be lit on fire to deal additional damage at the cost of durability. When sneaking up on an unaware enemy, Link can perform a sneak strike for critical damage. Headshots with a bow will deal critical damage as well. Arrows that miss their target can be picked up off the ground. Fires can be started in bushes or tall grass using torches, the fire rod, or explosives. High winds can influence the direction of a spreading fire. Any fire will cause an updraft, allowing for an increase in paragliding over that fire. The fire rod creates giant bouncing orbs of fire, setting any flammable object aflame. A charged up fire rod attack creates multiple bouncing orbs of fire all around Link. Yikes. According to Nintendo, a heavy rainfall will douse campfires and wildfires. Using the Magnesis Rune, Link can remotely manipulate metal weapons and send them crashing into enemies. The Magnesis Rune can be used to lift damaged metal crates and drop them to break them open. The Magnesis Rune can also grab and reel in metal chests from out of reach areas. The Stasis Rune can freeze time for certain objects. If you use stasis on a boulder, repeated strikes can build a momentum that will cause the boulder to fly off when time resumes. Large mini-bosses can be found exploring the wild and even have their own health bar and name at the top of the HUD. The step tallest can be climbed Shadow of the Colossus style. 
Link can fast travel to the Resurrection Shrine and any Resurrection Towers he's activated, or any shrine that he's visited. Runes take the place of traditional tools, and many can be found while exploring mysterious puzzle-oriented shrines. The Sheikah Slate can be used as a viewfinder to see objects far off in the distance. What the hell is this? A floating city or floating fortress? What is this massive enemy lurking around Death Mountain? You can also use the Sheikah Slate to scan and mark enemies, revealing their total health. The Hylian script found in shrines can actually be translated if you know its alphabet. There's a bunch of hidden messages written on objects around the world, including an all-year base joke. Chances are we've barely scratched the surface on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For more on Nintendo's next big adventure, keep it right here at IGN.